Welcome to Module 6, where we're going to learn how to create functions in Scratch, something you may see other places referred to as build your own blocks. Uh, I'm going to be very honest. When I first started teaching Scratch to students, when I first started teaching Scratch to teachers who work with students, I didn't include this unit. Uh, in part because this feature didn't exist in early versions of Scratch. And when it came along, I wasn't 100% sure that kids would use it. I wasn't sure that teachers needed to understand how it worked to get started with Scratch. But I had an experience with one of my students. He happened to be an eight-year-old uh, working in the Coder Dojo in my community. Uh, our Coder Dojo is a, is a Saturday program at the library that teaches kids to program in Scratch. And I was working with an eight-year-old who was showing me basically this code. I'm going to start it running right now. And you can see that this is uh, an initial program. I've revised it slightly from what this student had written, although this is almost completely what this student had as his code. His initials happened to be very similar to mine. And so you can see as it, as it draws out on the, on the board there, rather than using kind of block letters and straight lines like I had done when I showed you my initials in Module 1, this student had actually gone to the trouble of creating curves in his, uh, in his initial program. Some of you did that in Module 1 when you created your own. It wasn't a requirement. Um, and I walked over and I looked at this student's code. And this was kind of cool. An eight-year-old was, was creating curves in his code. And, and I walked over to see what he was doing. And what caught my attention in his code was this right here. Let me zoom in a little bit more on, on this feature. Here's the code that this student created for his initials. Again, this kid was eight. And you'll notice right here, there's a block called half circle. It's dark purple. That's not a color we've, we've been working with. Uh, it's not a color we've seen. And you know, nowhere in any of your exploration so far in this course have you encountered a block called half circle. And the reason is, it doesn't exist in the default part of Scratch. It's something that this student had actually created all by himself. And I was pretty amazed, because like I say, I don't normally work with uh, build your own blocks with kids. I had I'd sort of just avoided it, didn't, didn't really make a big deal about it. And so I got talking to this eight-year-old. I said, hey, where did you figure out how to do this ability to create your own block called Half Circle? I figured he'd gone on to the Scratch website and seen it in somebody else's code and incorporated it into his own program, which is very viable. That's a very great solution. That's what we want kids doing with Scratch, exploring the Scratch website and seeing what they can do in Scratch. But he said to me, well, we've been doing code.org in my school. For those of you who aren't familiar with code.org, it's a great elementary school curriculum. I think code.org partners well with Scratch uh, in, in sort of going back and forth between them. That's irrelevant to this conversation. He said, I've been doing code.org in my school. And during doing the code.org materials, we learned that a function is a piece of code that you can call over and over again. And I knew that in making my initials, I was going to use a half circle five different times. And so rather than creating that code five different times, I decided I wanted to figure out how to make a function in Scratch. So I just went looking for it. Now, I have to admit to you, my jaw basically dropped open at this point. I mean, here was an eight-year-old kid who gave me a textbook definition of a function, something that, uh, you know, uh, First of all, I'm amazed he could, he could pair it back to me almost word for word, the definition for a function. But not only did he know the, the definition for the function, he knew exactly when and how to apply it. Now, this kid, probably because he was at our Coder Dojo and coming to, to learn about programming on a weekend, was maybe a little bit above your average kid in ability. But the reality in my mind was if an eight-year-old can understand the idea of a function and can decide it's time to figure out how to make it work, then maybe we ought to be giving kids a little more credit and teaching everybody, or at least you as teachers ought to be aware of how functions work, how build your own blocks work 
in Scratch. And so for that reason, I'm added, I've added this module to the course here this time around. We're not going to spend a lot of time looking at, at functions, but I want you to see how the basics of it work. So in the future videos in this module, we'll look at how you too, or your students too, can create modules, blocks like half circle that they can incorporate over and over and over into their code.